Oh, uh, hello. Uh, this is Joshams ASMR, and um, today I thought I could teach you uh, Hebrew again, sort of a continuation from the other video. If you've seen it, um, if you haven't. Um, I guess it's alright since the purpose of the video is to make you fall asleep anyway, so um, I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, you know, why not learn while also falling asleep? I actually wonder if, um, let's say, you have either earphones on you as you fall asleep whether or not um, and then you fall asleep and the the audio keeps rolling I wonder or not whether your brain can actually take in the information you know what I mean like um, so for example if you've fallen asleep This lesson, we are actually going to focus on four um, letters of the alphabet, and um, the reason why is because with these four letters, we can already start to form a couple of of words. So. To refresh um, the memory, or if you haven't even seen the other video, um, I guess we'll start by reviewing the letters that are on here. Um, so, for example, the first letter is Bet. So, I'll go over that with you again. Bet can be written in two ways. Version, which is like so, and the lowercase letter version, which can be written like so. These are both bets, as you can see right here. Bet. And the next thing we're going to go over is Aleph. looks almost identical, just a little bit rounder on the edges. That's honestly the only difference. And um, next is hey. Right, so that one again, uppercase looks like that, and lowercase actually looks quite similar. It's just um, 
kind of round on the edges again. There are a couple of letters where it, that's the only difference between upper and lower. Just the lower is a little bit rounder. That's pretty cool. Now this one I've actually made a copy with my copy machine so I have like two lesson ones. So I actually can write on this without a problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of the lesson on on uh, that this piece of paper over here. Okay, so so now I'm going to go over with you what kind of sound each one of these makes. Bet makes the b b sound. same B as B basically and olive is the same as the A A sound R um avocado you know asparagus kind of like that next is tough and yes it's kind of the T sound um you know like wrong when you get better don't really use um, I guess vowels Hebrew is a weird language where you don't really need vowels once you know how to read really well but there are official vowels and here right here if you see that's the the vowels and I'll rewrite it here because sign and this is like a minus sign with two dots these what correspond to and these are the vowels and they all make the R sound what that means is for example if I take bet here you know bet and I put one of these signs on the bottom this becomes specific rule um, but uh, for now uh, they are all uh, in this lesson so here we have uh, an instruction Hebrew you actually read from right to left so we're going to start from our right and we're going to read this together we just did this this is bar Ah, ta, ha, ah, ta, ba, ta, ah, ah, ba, ba, and ta. Good job. Wonderful. You read it perfectly. So that's how you read. Now with these four simple letters we are able to write simple words and even very very simple sentences. So for instance we're going 
going to learn a couple of words together that uses these four letters that we just went over. First of all here, let me write this out for you again, so it's clearer to see. There. We just learned that anything with this vowel is the R sound. So we get R, ba. This A kind of carries over from this ba sound, because this is R sound anyway, because it's like, you know, Aleph. It becomes Abba, Abba, Abba. And that means father. Abba means father. And the next one he says here. Guess what it means? I mean, how to read this? Ba. Correct. Yep. And ba is like a preposition, which means in the. So, for example, if I say father in the house or something, it would be a ba ba, and then house. So you can also create um, two pronouns with um, these four letters. And here, if you look, it says MS and FS. What that means is M is male and F is female. So yes, in Hebrew, um, it's very gender specific and even verbs or nouns or pronouns or even objects have gender to them. And that kind of comes a little bit later, but so for example, if you're calling you in English, as you can see, you is just you, it doesn't really matter the male or female. In Hebrew, when you point at someone and say you, their gender does matter. U for a male is a ta. So the h kind of, kind of like when we did aba, it carries over because this is a ha sound anyways. A ta becomes a ta. A ta. And for female, you, it just becomes a. Because it's like the two sound, you know? This becomes at. Ata. At. Okay. And then we're going to learn two more verbs. And you can see in the verbs also male and female. And this means to come. So if you look over here, it says. Ba. Ba. So if a male pronoun or so, or like I guess father, comes, it'd be Abba, Ba. And you have your first sentence right there. And um, female, when she comes, when a female noun or pronoun comes, it'll be Ba. Ba, ah. 
it's are you coming when it's to a female and then here number three it's ata pa so ata is for male pa is come so you come but then to a male with just four letters, isn't it? They are kind of derivative of each other, but still, I think it's quite cool. We can do the last exercise. It says, follow the example with more places. So these are just places you can use, American places. You can put here, you fill in anything you want. So you can write anything in English, but just at least understand what these words mean. So this is art, ba. This is the um, preposition we learned before, which means in the. So you are in the something, and it's you. right bank. You are in the bank. A female. To, like you, female, is in the bank. This time is atta. These are actual grammatically correct sentences, believe it or not, and yeah, so, and so I want you to remember these four letters very well, and today we've only learned how to read them in the R sound, and we were already able to create some words, so great lesson today, and um, I hope that by next time expand from there. Um, I don't think you need homework. I don't think you'll need homework, so. Yeah, so that's Hebrew. Um, very uh, ancient language, beautiful language, and um, kind of dry sounding language. Thank you for learning Hebrew with me, with Joseph Mirzmah.